Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 9, aka Jojo Lands Chapter 3. Quick recaps. Let's get straight to it. So where we left off on Chapter 2, at the end, the whole crew arrived to uh, Rohan's Airbnb. So they're outside and they're plotting to get inside and steal his like diamond that's worth like six million dollars. And now the chapter opens up where Jodio sneaks in through the pool area in which that's where uh, Rohan was like swimming and shit and he sneaks in through that area, gets inside the house and then he like finds one of Rohan's manuscripts to his manga and he starts reading it because he's a huge fan. And now we're with the three other crew members and they're outside of the house. They're not eating yet. At this point, Jodio's the only one inside and Dragona uses her stand ability smooth operators to open up the door from the outside. And then the, the three of them get inside and now they're looking for a safe in which where they assume the diamond will be in. Dragona, Paco, and Usagi, they encounter a room filled with rocks and it's creepy as hell, especially considering the fact that he's in an Airbnb. This isn't his home. And then on the other side, we have um, Jodio, who encounters uh, pictures of lava and volcanoes. Jodio then notices that Rohan gets up from the pool and starts heading back inside the house. So Jodio notifies the crew and lets them know that he's walking back in. And luckily the crew, at that around that same moment, they finally encounter the safe. Dragona uses smooth operators on the safe. It opens up, they see the diamond, they grab it and they start heading out. Then out of nowhere, a fishing line just wraps around Paco's legs and starts tightening up. And then that same fishing line wraps around Dragona. Usagi then suspects that the cat that's been wandering around the house has something to do with it. And he also suspects that the cat might have a stand ability. And then Jodio activates November's rain and makes it rain outside. And then Rohan notices the rain and that right there let Jodio know and Jodio suspects now that Rohan is most likely a stand user. All right, and so that's it for chapter three of Jojo Lands. One thing that we gotta fucking keep in mind is the fact that there was a room filled with rocks. Are we gonna see rock humans? So is part eight is gonna have something to do with it, which we assume it, it most likely will just how part, uh, part seven has something to do with part eight. So we assume that part eight is gonna have something to do with part nine. It's probably going to be rock humans in this world. And then on top of that, also the string that ended up wrapping around Paco's ankle and ended up uh, attacking uh, Dragon as well. Is that Does that string have anything to do with Jolene's stand ability? Who knows? Maybe some type of Jolene is going to appear. But all right, that's it. Uh, see you guys in like a fucking month for chapter four because it seems like this is dropping like every four weeks or something like that. All right, this